Hey Ray, a second uh, cup game here at the stadium and a, and a win. Your thoughts? Yes, um, yeah, it's important we won the game tonight. Um, that sets us up for the game down at air on Saturday. That's a, that'll, that'll be a really important game. Now, if we can go down there and win, we'll give ourselves a really good opportunity to qualify at the Betfred. So, but it'll be tough. But tonight, you know, um, played some really nice football. D dictated the game for 90%, 95%. Um, created a few chances. Would like to have taken a couple of chances tonight. Um, but fair play to the Stranraer. The, the, they kept working and at 1-0 they've always got a chance. So, But listen, really pleased. Pleased with the result and uh, especially pleased with the performance. How much did that early goal put you in command of the game? Yeah, it was good and great for Declan to come in and score a goal in his, he, he, his first game after travelling probably three, three and a half hours today and then in Edinburgh and then back up to the game. So he looked great and lively. Um, it was, you know, and a great goal. So we're delighted for him on his first start. But as I said, I think we had a couple more chances in both both halves and you know, the possession was excellent. Played some lovely football. We just need to, once the strikers get really up to speed, um, then, then hopefully we'll take them chances and, and make the game a wee bit easier. But, you know, listen, pleased with that. We wanted the result tonight, we got it, and we, we actually played quite well, so all good. Almost like a 4-3-3 tonight with uh, Connolly playing number 10. So it's a 4-3-3 again, but a, a different 4-3-3. Something that's been remarked upon is you've got a lot of flexibility, albeit yeah. not a lot of numbers. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I, I think that's key when you're building a squad. You people can play different areas. Aidan can go and play wide left, wide right. He can play in the 10. Declan can play right, he can play left, he can play right up the top. So we need that um, flexibility because the, the squad is fairly small. We're not going to be running with a 20 man squad or 22 man squad, but, so we need people that are adaptable. And I think that's going to be the key for us this year is being able to adapt during games um, because it's going to be tough this year. Teams, no disrespect to Strandard, but they come in with five at the back tonight, and three in midfield and one off the front. So they were very compact and they were, they were aggressive, you, you saw that. So. To be fair, we passed the ball really well and uh, created a few chances, but we're going to have to be patient this year and uh, because it's going to be like that. We're going to have to be patient, but we've got good players there that can control games, which is, been, which is great for me to see. Three or four good saves by the visiting keeper tonight and also uh, what looked to us to be a clear penalty. Did you see that at all? Yeah, I did. It was a, it was a clear penalty. The ball, Dixon's put a great ball in and Denny just went ahead of it and he's been clattered from behind. You'll probably see it on the, the Falkirk TV. The ref's looking right at it, so I don't know. <laughs> I think we should have a penalty Saturday as well. We were, somebody wrestled to the ground right in front of the ref, so yeah, that was disappointing because if we score that then, you know, that, that makes the game different. Um, but we never got it. But listen, I'm pleased with tonight. The uh, overall performance, how much of an indication do you think that will be of what we have to expect this coming season? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's probably a very good indication. I said that to the players last night, that, uh, sorry, to the, tonight after the game. You know, it's sometimes it's easy to get just pulled into that, 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 that pace of a game. They passed the ball brilliantly tonight, moved it great, but I think we just need to just lift it at 15% in terms of a wee bit of pace and power and, 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 and and positive runs, and we'll be okay. But we're going to have to we're going to have to face teams that are going to come in and play like that, like uh, like like Stranraer to, did tonight. We have five, three, and a one-one. So it's going to be tough, but we need to be patient. But listen, we've got good players on our team right now who can control games. We just need to make sure they all stay fit. And now looking ahead to Saturday now, it's a tough away trip down to Somerset Park. Of course, Chris Doolan replacing uh, Lauren Shanklin down there, but still a, a tough game. Very tough game. Um, well, we know here from last season. We know how they play, um, they've got good players, they've done extremely well in the championship last year, so that'll be a tough game for us, but we're a different team uh, from what we were last year, and uh, you know I'm quite confident we can go down there and, and keep the ball, and pass it, and, and, and be able to control parts of the game. Uh, I, I totally expect that from the squad that we've built, so um, I'm looking forward to the game. Um, so you know, and like you say, we brought Declan in, who's he'll, he'll really benefit from the game tonight, and uh, and also Connor and, and Denny, they'll benefit as well. So going into the game, we'll be in good spirits and, uh, and a good opportunity to try. And if we can win that, then we'll give ourselves a great opportunity to qualify from the, for the Betfred. And just the one last point uh, in terms of the shaping the squad coming week, any more activity? And is there anything you'd be looking to do at left back as cover for Paul Dixon? Yeah, um, we probably do need to cover Paul for Paul because he's not going to play 45 games this season. Um, he probably wants to, but you know, you know, injuries and fatigue and you know all this and that. Um, so we probably will look to get a bit of cover in there. Um, but right, right at the moment, it was important we got another striker in to, to, to take the burden off Connor and Denny, and so that was our priority. And that's what Declan has done, and he's and he's going to be a great signer for us. But you're right, we, we probably do need another bit of cover there. Yeah, as always, thanks for your time. Thanks, guys.